So, Mr. Prime Minister, welcome back uh, to uh, NATO. It's great to see you uh, again here at the NATO headquarters. You have been here before, and uh, uh, Japan is uh, really a close and highly valued partner of uh, NATO. I mean, I very much appreciate uh, this opportunity to further strengthen and develop our uh, partnership. And uh, uh, when you uh, visited uh, NATO last time, you uh, called NATO a natural uh, partner of uh, Japan, and I totally agree with you. And, uh, and I think we are making uh, important progress in many different uh, areas. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the Secretary General and the Prime Minister will make uh, some brief statements. Unfortunately, there is no time for questions this morning. So now I pass over to the Secretary. We also very much uh, value our political dialogue with Japan on issues of mutual concern, including North Korea. Since last December, we have addressed the North Korean threat at two council meetings with our four Asia-Pacific partners, Japan, South Korea, Australia and New Zealand. Pyongyang continues its nuclear and ballistic missile tests and the missile ranges are increasing. All uh, of these nuclear and missile tests are a clear breach of UN Security Council resolutions and a threat to international peace and security. Our position is very clear. North Korea must comply with its international obligations. Stop all activities related to its ballistic, missile and nuclear programs. Abandon all existing weapons of mass destruction <coughs> programs once and for all. And engage in real dialogue with the international community. Prime Minister Abe, thank you once again for coming to NATO headquarters. And uh, thank you for the kind invitation to visit uh, Tokyo later this year. I look forward to working with you uh, to further deepen uh, our valuable and important partnership and uh, cooperation. So thank you so much.